Hello wonderful people. Why are you wonderful? Because you're watching my video. Hey guys, it is a beautiful morning on my little Minecraft world. I've done a fair bit of work. I'm still waiting for a little bit of generation on my PC's part, but it should uh, appear soon enough. Um, I've been to work really, really quite hard actually, because I wanted to have something ready for the video. So I thought I'd nice open up. Hopefully, the YouTube little thumbnail might capture this, <laughs> and I can use it. Because I tried using a custom one, and I don't know. I didn't get any more views. I took them off, and I got a few more views. Maybe people don't like these custom, you know, little thumbnails. I guess you call them thumbnails. Uh, so yeah, there you can see the little village over there. I'd like to go explore it. See. It's one thing about Minecraft, you get better per peripheral vision than you do dead on, like that is all foggy and that's clear as day. But anyway, let's get on to the work. Now, I said I did a lot of work, and I did, but most of it has been landscaping. So, without further ado, let's uh, get on with it. So, from my little hole in the ground, I have dug myself a nice 50 by 50 meter or square block. Um, platform to build on and this I've left because I was leveling it out. I just want you guys to see what has been going on because what I did was I decided I wanted a 50 by 50 platform so I uh, prepared this way and that way quite successfully I say um, not too much problem there and then I wanted to join it up and I had the issue with a mountain and it was actually bigger than this, it was about there, a little bit higher, if you look at the older videos then you'll probably be able to see that, but it was just in the way and mobs are spawning up there and falling down and I will cut this back and do what I've done over here which is layer it, if I run over there you can check my layering, basically I'm trying to stop mobs jumping over the fence, so I made a two meter gap there so it's hard for them to jump and then I've said like, I kind of allowed in some way um, it to go up so it's more natural if you look over here at my little, little uh, wood garden because I didn't have any wood see here it looks a bit more natural a hill but yeah when it's something this big that I've just ch chocked chopped in half just zzz, it's almost like a jagged saw line my technique was really simple I just started at the top and dug down a line, dug down a line plus one, plus one blah, 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 from there um, and I would recommend starting from the top with anything like this because uh, if you start from the bottom you end up encountering a few problems. The reason I left this bit was because I was going to mine this all for your viewing pleasure so you can see how much of a big task it was and I'm not going to do too much on it like I'm going to dip in and out of it hopefully by the end of the episode we can uh, get this all finished up so you can see a nice flat and after that I will uh, turn the camera off at the end of the video and uh, start digging up this and uh, you know getting some nice lovely grass growing here so that was this mountain and you can see just like how exact I was, I was like this is 50 squares so I'm chopping you straight down which is what I did and then boom across try to destroy it you can see actually it's not very high left after this so if I take my two meters and then scale it back, it'll only be like there. So that will actually be very small and hopefully well protected. And this is actually, if I get my little shift on, right overhanging. I did fill out the whole other side, but this side it was just, I wasn't going to go down to the bottom there and dig back up to make something. So I've actually kind of bridged that out. No one has to know. Okay, so if you won't tell, I won't. The only way you can actually jump off if you go to the 2 meter block is to kind of do a double click run and jump. But yeah, I've actually um, been using stone tools for this because I'm going to title this video Ironworks because we're going to progress a bit in the story of Minecraft because I am to complete Minecraft in this Let's Play. I want to make maybe 10 videos, I'm not sure. I don't want to do too much. And then after I've done my 10 videos and I've kind of, you know, gone to the nether, got my stuff, gone to the end, killed the dragon, got the wither out, killed the wither, you know, that kind of thing. Once you've kind of finished the main essence of the game, 
it's more of a repetition. And I was thinking that after that, I might um, make either this uh, an open worlds thing that somebody can just grab off the internet and mess around with it if they want, or I was thinking about saving it and making a duplicate and making it a creative mode, and then I'll start doing some super cool buildings and stuff. If you look at a uh, my video, I think it's called Mansions and Basilicas. I think that's from 2011, 2012 ish. So it's quite an old video. Um, back before I had too much editing software, so it was all done by hand, which is kind of a lovely task for me. It was a uh, labor of love. I do enjoy building on Minecraft. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. But anyway, I've battled on quite a while now. I don't know how many minutes this is going on. But I just wanted to show you some more things that I've been up to. Obviously, you've got my little wood farm. Um, the idea of this thing is to keep the monsters out, but the shade creates darkness where they could spawn and hide underneath. So what you do is you put these torches here, so regardless of whether or not the sun is out, the shade won't be uh, too great. And also, if you put four on like I did, um, it makes light on the floor, so at night it stops things from spawning, and uh, it also lets you know exactly where to, you know, plunk... Uh, plonk this uh, beautiful little tree thing. I've actually got to put in some fence posts over there and finish off the uh, torches. But those are minor things, minor things. We can get to that in a minute. Now, um, this has been just a bit of indulgence for me. If you guys um, remember the cows I got last time, they were on a stone floor. So I felt bad for them. And I put in a mud floor. And then I felt even worse because I didn't want them having you know, wet, sticky paws and hooves. So I went and built this little change here of grass. I cut away this stone, made a big kind of thing here, a little runway for the grass to grow, mm. and grew it all the way down to there. So they now have grass. You can probably hear that they've also got running water, um, which is here. A little bit of water to drink, and I've also got my uh, ever ready um, wheat for them to eat and then create more little ones and then I can kill the other one and get some beef and mm. some leather which is why I've got food at the bottom and also why my food, my food bar is full for once um, you might remember in the last video I was a bit starving so I am going to just quickly fill that up and I forgot to put the uh, wheat back that would be a bit inconvenient we'll sort that in a minute but yeah, that took several um, Minecraft days to actually let the grass grow this deep. And also, this has to be open because the sunlight needs to reach them. So, actually, that needs to go. I don't want dirt in my wall. It's a nice, lovely stone wall. And behind it, lots of the mud. So, I'm trying not to bore you guys too much visually with uh, too much construction. I know it's kind of interesting sometimes to see like what's been done and how it's done, but also I can understand. Well, and also you probably can understand that I dug down that mountain and that has taken me several days. I think the last video I posted was like on the third of March. We're now on the seventh at the time of recording, and uh, yeah, that is a sizable amount of days worth of recording that you guys probably didn't want to watch, and also I didn't want to talk for three or four days straight, so. <laughs> I thought this was a kind of for everyone. So this will be a nice uh, little bit of garden. Mm. I'm using dirt because I don't want to really, like waste my resources. Even though I've got millions and millions and millions of resources at the moment mm. from uh, destroying that. Uh, uh, what should we call? Oh, cow, get out of the way! Go away! Um, from destroying the mountain. Um, I think I actually went down too soon. <laughs> a little bit hard to reach. Get up to my wee. Let's go check. Do -do. I will fill in the uh, the roof. I think um, I had a suggestion of making a glass roof, so I might do that so they get some fresh light. I take it back here, and yeah. So you're going to see that we're now well and truly inside my little uh, cavern. Um, this is actually going to be the basement because I'm going to do stuff. I've moved everything from in here. I will might, will maybe make, I don't know, coulda, woulda, shoulda, made a bedroom there, but I haven't got there yet. Um, and you might have noticed this thing. Uh, if you've watched the previous videos, it was just up on this side and that side. 
I decided to make like a nice grand entrance going down because I like all grand things. And stuff here that I wanted to do is I'm going to keep some of this flooring uh, after I've finished like the dimensions of my garden. And I will um, build up from here, maybe a little castle or something. Because, uh, you know, I can't live in a basement the whole time. But, and this kind of makes makes it a pre-built, pre-fabricated uh, basement for my castle, which I'm just going to build on top. And offers me lots of uh, good love and protection. So yeah, here is my next thing. I'm rolling in to my little farm, which is where I get all my wheat from. I did steal my original wheat from the uh, testificates, that's what they're called. I, I looked that up, had a friend tell me. Um, and you may have noticed that there's water, but I haven't got to iron yet, because that's something I wanted to do in this video. Uh, so what I had to do was I dug out all of these um, channels, because I found an old underwater reservoir. You see, that's where this water's coming from. It's just kind of flowing mm -hmm. down here. That's purely yeah. because I want to be nice to my little cowsies, which I will murder and devour later. Um, so yeah, I used uh, the natural flow of things. I found some underground water, which was quite a surprise when I was digging down. And then I used it to create the farm, because I had this area ready, but no water. And that was something I was going to do. I was going to go and uh, find some iron, find some water, bring it back, make an infinite water thing, and then um, show you guys. But it looks like I didn't need that, so that was something that happened. Uh, and here, this is my uh, pride and joy, my little storage thing. So you can see my resources. <laughs> almost a full box full of um, cobblestone and a pretty much full block of um, uh, what you call dirt and this is my little disposal area I just literally chuck items that I don't want anymore through there because uh, there were so many resources that I got that I didn't need them anymore and you see there's another full box of stuff from mining away the stone decided to keep more stone than dirt, because I thought it was a bit more useful. Um, but yeah, so lots has been going on since you guys have been gone. And I've also done a bit mining. These I was going to knock through and turn into wooden beams, um, as in real wood, not the planks, to make it look like they're supporting structures holding the roof up. I don't know, I've gone more into aesthetics than I thought I would. But yeah, so this, these windows kind of thing, window frames, uh, a little bit of feng shui so you can see through. As soon as I get the opportunity, I will take away that dirt and go get some sand and make some glass. So that's a thing. I might do that today if I've got some time. But really what I want to do now is make a little stone sword, just in case you never know. Make sure i got enough torches. And I want to go mining because I want to get some iron. Because I was doing these videos in like steps and it's been really tough, you know, not... Um, being able to progress much because I couldn't find any iron. I think I complained about that a lot um, in a previous video. Some wood chests. I will make some signs, but I ain't got any wood. <laughs> um, but yeah, in the previous video, I was complaining about Amplify being so high up that there was no way of really um, getting to any iron at lower. At the beginning, I say lower levels, we've not really got many levels. I'm level 17, mm. which is pretty cool, but you never know. But I've actually had to dig through from, if we pop this up quickly, level 145. There's a spider, mm. he's throwing me off a bit. And like all the way down here, from my little mine, and I've got little staircases to make it quicker to go up and down. And then, boom, I broke out the side. But I thought it was pretty cool, so I kept it. That's where I'm going to get my glass from. It's a beautiful... Um, I'm looking there, but I'm using the perif peripheral vision to see it better. It's a beautiful, like, um, sand tower that I'm quite interested to look at later as well. Uh, yeah, and then this we're going to go down and more, all the more, 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 more. I didn't bring any bloody torches, I just told myself to get some. Won't be a moment. Uh, and we will go and explore, because I did actually find some iron as soon as I found it, and I was. Uh, pretty much done with mining away the mountain, I decided that I would record a video. So hopefully things will progress a little faster and I will um, do some more uh, progress for you guys to see. Um, actually I do have iron from uh, killing stuff while it was attacking me on the mountain. 
and diamonds from the test certificate village in the first video, if you guys remember. But I kind of wanted to find it before using it. I'm going. They're definitely going to use diamonds because we've got the perfect amount to go and get some obsidian and then make a nice um, nether portal mm -hmm. and start progressing to find some blaze rods mm -hmm. and whatnot for the eyes of Ender. But I wanted to find it first to feel like I earned it. It's a bit kind of strange for me to find these iron blocks as drops and find these diamonds in a box and somewhere quite easy to find. Um, I remember when we first started playing, uh, I think 2010, 2011, like when it first, first came out and the alphas and the betas uh, I was playing and I found these uh, things quite hard to come by. So I want to find them first and then I'll feel like I own them. And as soon as I use, I can, I will use my three little uh, um, little diamonds and make a diamond pick. And we'll go off to Nether, so wow. I was talking way too much to fully appreciate the ta-da of finding some iron. Nice, nice big chunk of iron here. And we are now at the depth of 53. Just 145 minus 53. Oh my god, I think that that number's too big for me to calculate. I am terrible at maths, so uh, you guys know how, how deep that was. That was a big chunk. We're pretty much looking at a hundred... Oh, I made a screenshot. I did not know I did that. Um, almost a hundred blocks we've gone down before I could actually find any iron, which is frustrating because... I had no armor, I had no faster tools to use. But we got it now, and I got some other bits. That, ooh. Ooh, much deeper and a lot more iron. Sorry for getting a bit distracted. Um, so we're going to get some pretty cool stuff going now that I've got iron unlocked. And then I will make some more furnace or furnaces. I don't know which way it's meant to actually go. Uh, what is the plural of furnace? I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, we're at the end, and if you guys have been paying attention, I've been using my uh, little, um, what do we call, little torch rule, so that it's on the right, you're going deeper, and if it's on the left, you're going out, so you always know where you're going, and I am stuck in this water flow, which is not fair, get me out, I'm going to try and plug that up, and then I'm going to grab some of the iron, just going to spelunk, or cherry pick, whichever you Word you find most amusing to use. Um, don't know, one on the floor when you know it's a dead end. Um, just to quickly grab the resources while I'm down here, get them cooking uh, towards the end of the video. Um, could mine around deeper through the walls, but not interested really. I want to go down to my favorite level, down to level 12, and then from level 12, I will. Uh, go out and search. But this is what is really interesting me because God, it goes much deeper without me having to dig much deeper. So I'm just gonna grab the coal because actually, you know, I've been playing for days now on this map and I've mined an entire mountain and I found nothing. Nothing. I really was a little bit you know, you've made this new world type and you've it's all cool and beautiful. Whoopsie daisy. That wasn't meant to happen but you haven't planned for the fact that <coughs> players are now going to be higher up so they're not going to be able to uh, get certain resources without digging much further down and uh, it kind of makes it more immersive and bloody bloody blah but if they could have tweaked it a little bit so that say coal was still spawning I know you can see some in the uh, the gorges when I look out my window and I might have just been in a dead spot but I, don't know, I wish it was a little bit more common um, but yeah, anyway, that's enough of me ranting. I, I do enjoy the world type and a little uh, start to the video that I showed you. Uh, it's a beautiful kind of mountainous area. I've always loved the mountains. Um, personally, I've climbed four or five mountains. Um, Lake District, Black Mountains mainly. Uh, Snowden was fun, done that several times. Uh, once, kind of, you had to do it at school for DV, uh, which is Duke and Verdon Reward if you're not from England kind of an award for um, you do service. Uh, so I worked in Peru for a month. I worked on a, a community project to build a, a, f a food source for a, a village. I created a, um, 
a little um, kind of greenhouse where they could grow some vegetables where it was much more protected than it was because it was actually 4,000 meters above sea level in the uh, Andes Mountains and the weather up there wasn't quite, you know, what, where you'd usually grow your carrots. So we created a nice protected environment for them to grow their stuff and their produce, which they're thankful for. But we did it kind of quick, so we had enough time to dig a mahusive uh, little um, fish farm. We created a big ditch. It was uh, 7 meters long, 2 meters wide, and 1.5 meters deep. And we dug that out by hand. Um, then we layered it up, used some concrete, mixed the stones together to make the walls and we made it mm, to like a, um, a pond pretty much. We took water that was from a nearby waterfall, we created a little channel, diverted the water to it, filled it up, got some fish in there, hopefully they were breeding now, I didn't stick around long enough to see if that actually worked so well, but hopefully it did. And then they were going to have, you know, a little insured place where they could fish, you know. So, yeah, I've, I've always loved the mountains. I like going up high. I actually am scared of heights, but well, I love the views. Now, I like to take a picture, hyperventilate, go back down, and then uh, look at the picture again. <laughs> but, hello, we have a friend. Uh, I know that was a delayed reaction, but I was trying to finish my sentence. Um, I want some TNT, so uh, I want to kill this thing. Oh yeah, and obviously no gunpowder. Anyway, so that thing has managed to just do single jumps to get up, so this must be possible to navigate. So, ironworks and spelunking. Okay, I don't really have a policy for this, but let's put one in the middle. A uh, hello spider. Let's see if I can uh, jump down to you. Now breaking my neck. Swinging my sword like a maniac. Okay, he's not getting up to me just yet. Uh, let's go explore down here. Uh, I do like to do the top bit first because usually if I go straight down, I'll forget about it. So, uh, yeah, and look at all the iron. Like all this complaining I had about not having any iron, and there it all is. It's been just waiting underneath my feet. But I didn't find anything on the way down either. That was a real, you know, bummer. Because usually when you're creating a mine shaft, you spur it on, you're like, ooh, some coal, ooh, some iron, ooh, gold, ooh, redstone, you know? And then the like, fables, oh, <gasps> diamonds! I still remember finding my first diamonds. I also remember finding a lovely um, mine in a previous version of Minecraft, where I found maybe eight or nine diamonds. I had a really good run finding lots of um, diamonds. And then I fell in lava, and I just watched them burn, and I was quite upset. I know it's only pixels, but those pixels they gave me the feels, man. Seriously, we need to do something about this spider. It's uh, jumping all around over there. It's, uh, it's not a happy bunny. Oh, we're just going to ignore him. That always works best. Um, oh, that was a nice short one. Little tendril of darkness all sorted. Ah, did anyone else spot that? I didn't see that. Oh, that's anyone. Um, oh, I've been blind. Look at all this iron. This is really, really going to merit the title of uh, Ironworks. Let's see if we can get a full stack of iron. Then I'll make some tools and some armor, and we'll go into the nether. We'll try my best. I will actually go and find uh, some diamonds, and I'll record me f where I found the diamonds. Um and then show you guys that I found it, and then I'll start using diamonds. Because, uh, like I said, I want to try and do this properly. And for me, properly is um, finding everything first. You know, like, the idea of trading with the test certificates for diamonds, that sounds cool. Like, I grow a load of wood, I trade it, like, ten stacks of wood for a diamond, fair enough. But, right now I still want to, you know, find it. Do it like old school. Because that's what I am, I am old school. Let's sort this bloody spider out. What are you doing down there? Come here. Let me hit you with my sword. Okay. Let me hit you with my sword another time. So that is a nice shot. Shall I jump down? Maybe next time. Let's see if I can go down this way first. Okay. That's a nice bit of light. 
Oh, you. I hate skeletons. And I don't have my bow on me. I did get a bow from the skeletons, which is another thing. I was like, oh, I need a bow. And I got one, and I was like, oh, how did that happen? I was not expecting it. And the fact that zombies drop stuff is cool. And I wish it came in sooner, but for me it's still weird. Um, let's see if I can come across and kill him with my mighty sword. Ooh, mushrooms. Oh, that is not a happy sound. Oh, and I'm getting owned. I hate the fact that the, the arrows push you back. And I know it kind of makes it fair on the bloody skeletons, because otherwise you're there kind of at a huge disadvantage. But seriously, I cannot walk close enough to them to do damage when they're like that. Okay. Okay. Let's see what I can do with my stuffs. I'm running out of torches. So there's quite a few mushrooms. I'm gonna pick them and put them in a dark room. That's what I'll do with that little room on the side. Oh, more resources. What is that? That looks like a slime. He's coming for me. And no, he's no longer coming for me. Can we just check the depth here? Ooh, we're at 33. We're getting very low from uh, the 140. That's over 100. I can do that. I can do that for 145. And we're now at 34. We can say we've gone down as 109. No. 140. Something like that. Really, really am sucky at maths. Give me a piece of paper and a calculator, I can work anything out. No problem. Okay, you don't get to, like posting those million pound answer the maths questions. But I can answer most things with a pen paper, but just off the top of my head, not been the, s not been the best. I, I do, uh, sp I speak four languages, and I can't do simple arithmetic in my head. It's just not the way I'm programmed. Um, so, yeah. What you guys are up to because I have seen 10 views in my first video, 3 in my second, so fair enough, not the most popular guy on YouTube, no, nope. but it's not what I'm after, I'm having fun making these videos and I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying them as well, really hoping the audio is okay for you guys because uh, I tested it 3 or 4 times and it sounded okay to me, but if you're wearing studio quality headphones you're probably going to be a little bit disappointed with the sound quality, but anyway. Um, let me know what you guys think of the videos, because I'm making the videos for fun, and it's fun to make videos that people like, and, uh, you know, share things with the world, get out there, so if you guys are enjoying the videos, let me know, just like, thumbs up the video, and I'll know that's what I need to make more of. If you don't enjoy it, I'd love for some constructive criticism, like, if you could write me a comment and be like, yo, you've put a lot of effort in, I can appreciate that, but this and this and this I didn't like could you do this, this, and this, you know? Uh, I'd appreciate that, because I want to try and see what I can do for you guys. Um, but if you guys aren't, you know, if you're on the fence and you're just like, cool video, write cool video. Spur me on a bit, you know? Because we're at the time in the video where I've said my piece, you know. <laughs> it's fairly obvious that I've run out of the flu. I'm pretty much relying on something to pop up, like talking about skeletons and stuff. So give me some topics. Feed me. Ooh, I am. Information. Um. So yeah. Charm to man. Usually I'm much better at multitasking. But I'm trying to gather all these resources. And I think I put my sticks away. Yes, I did. So I can't even make torches on the go. So let's uh, explore some more. I hope this isn't too dark for you. And maybe. Maybe we can make a double whammy. Uh, oh, that's what I can see in the corner of my eye. And find some diamonds. But I, I don't want to say that too loud. In case uh, Minecraft hears me and is really annoying. I think I'm going back out again. I think I was. Yes. So, let's us explore. If you guys uh, are interested in seeing more building works or less building works, let me know. I'm not going to actually mine out that thing I said I would in the morning, uh, in the beginning. I'm going to do that for another time when you guys aren't, you know, watching, because that's kind of a boring thing. This cave system is huge. I have not come across one like this for a while. 
and I am out of torches. Whoop! And it goes on. Right, so that will be the next video because I don't want to drag it on too, too long. I'm already at the point where you guys are probably like f uh, drifting off my amazingly interesting voice and stuff to say. So, yeah, I'm going to run that. I'm going to put all this stuff on the cooker and we'll uh, tie off the video. I'm going to go make some uh, landscape design stuff going on. Might start building work on the uh, castle thing I mentioned earlier and um, then make loads of torches and come explore because there's so much stuff down here. I'm very happy. I take it all back. This is a lovely world type. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, I'm going deeper, according to my torches. I am totally not lost. Totally not lost. Left is good. Left is good. Yeah, I'm on the way out. Totally knew where I was going. And what's down there? Ha, my little staircase. Uh, which I'm going to need a boost onto. Ta da! Let's go. So, if you guys have any questions, any comments, any topics you want me to talk about let me know in the comments I love them if I can get a, a like a 10 views per video I'm very happy with that I don't really need a huge audience I'm sure like having a huge audience would be lovely and I aspire to Ooh, more cats, more food but in a moment um, to do stuff like that but right now I like you guys and you guys have a lot of power because you're the only guys I'm listening to so send me those comments like my videos if you like them or dislike them I hope you don't dislike them and it would spare me the dislike button of shame because that means less people will actually look at the video and even if you don't like it they might have you know be nice but yeah just uh, keep it real <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing anymore gets to the point in the video right screw it I'm just going to end the video now. Um, thanks guys for watching. I hope to have a few things ready for you in the next video, like I was saying I was going to do. Um, I'm going to explore a bit more. If I find diamonds, I'll let you know. And then, we're going to go off into the nether. So, I have been Silent Boo. You have been you. You guys are wonderful for watching my video. Uh, I appreciate it. You are the best subscribers ever, and viewers, and whatnot. So, uh, click, click, click the like button, and the subscribe button, and tap, 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 tap away on the comments. I would much appreciate it. And so would Bessie, Bertie, and Sausage. Not even, you don't get in steak joint. Oh, that ruined my little thing. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I shall see you guys next time. Thanks. Oh, I really